Hey guys, it's Cass here and happy 2020. How exciting is that? So today I just want to pop in and give you a little rundown on what I'm going to be reading this year. My goal is to read 52 books, which basically means I want to read a book a, a week, a day I wanted to say. So a book a week, which I don't think is crazy. I do spend quite a lot of time commuting to work and from work. So I think that would be a good way. Another thing is I really wanted to read more romantic and raunchy books. Uh, therefore, Kindle is great for that. And I'm currently having a Kindle Unlimited, which allows me to use it and obviously have some of those raunchy books for a lot cheaper than anyone else because a lot of them are Kindle Unlimited, which basically means that you can rent out 10 at the time and until you read them, then you can return them and get new books. So with that being said, I wanna show you two books that I currently need to finish. They are from like December beginning, like Christmas period time that I started. So I have those and I will count, count them in for this year, uh, simply because I have read two other ones like in between because I started the Cruel Prince series and I just basically finished the whole thing um, within that time as I was reading one of the books I will show you now if that makes any sense. So with that being said let's get it going. So the first book I want to finish is The Miracle Morning whichever you do for yourself will implement how you kind of carry on with other relationships in your life which basically it's amazing how doing things for yourself can actually improve the relationship with your family, your friends, your significant other and colleagues, which I find that amazing. Um, starting with that book, I started meditating in the morning, just doing five minutes, which has been amazing. So that is the first one that I need to finish. The second that I will be finishing, and that one is a third one, the third book in the Sinners of Saints series. And that is the, that's how the cover looks like. Um, I believe there's another one or two more so that is the whole thing preferably if I finish this one I will want to read another one within this month but so I set myself a goal of 52 fantasy books or books in total but I really want to read 12 self-love oh I really want to read 12 self-love spirituality kind of books um which they obviously help your how would I call it? They open up your mind. They show you different perspectives. So I love these type of books as well. Therefore, there is one on my list and I didn't put such a big emphasis like last year. I had such a burnout after summer. Those are the only kind of books that I will allow myself to read as you guys can tell, like all of that. And I have another whole shelf of books that I've already read. So those are all of the ones I read last year, which is fair few considering I've read few on Kindle and I've listened to few and it got to a point that it was very it wasn't as enjoyable as I found it to start with so this year I'm setting myself a goal a uh, one book a month and kind of practice what the book is preaching so this month we have um no idea how to pronounce uh, I believe that's French but there we go discover the magic of simplicity an international bestseller so it basically how to live more with less so it talks about how simplifying your life may actually improve it and make it better um, the book has like under 300 pages and it's quite small it's not like a full-size book so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to fly through all my other ones and that one another thing is if I do um, I just started a new job, which means that a lot of the time I'm actually on the bus in the daytime when there's a lot of sunshine. So I'll be able to read this one if I don't have my Kindle on me. So those are my two spirituality, mental awareness kind of books to read this month. And then for my fantasy, so like I said, that would be two books. Obviously I have my Kindle one and I really want to read the fourth book just so I can finish the whole series. I absolutely love that. When I finish, I would definitely do a raunchy review for you guys. Um, the next one is, I've mentioned it in my last video, is The Girl in Red, which I've mentioned series and I like it didn't click to my brain that actually they're not all connected, but they are the same author, the same vibe. So that's why I put them in there. Two of them, they were duology but that one is on my on my little 
but that one is on my list. It is a retelling of Red Riding Hood, and I love the previous one, so I just really want to see how that story plays out. I hope it's as good as Alice one, because Peter Pan was very, like, wow. I really liked it too, to be honest. The second one, the second one of Alice wasn't my favorite. It was probably my least favorite. So I'm hoping that that one is going to be like my top version. I've read a few retellings of Red Riding Hood. So let's hope it's good. And the last book, last but not least, is a actually someone, uh, Dr. Book. She is a Polish booktuber so i'll link her video down below and she mentioned it, she said it wasn't her favorite but basically the vibe of the whole book is kind of what i would love so it says it's dark dark and chilling so elizabeth whatever her last name is hasn't had a proper meal in a week her thin arms are covered with bruises from her um caregiver and she is on the verge of being thrown into the streets until she's brought to the home of victor frankenstein um so victor's is her escape from misery elizabeth does everything she can to make herself indispensable at her work so it how she kind of described it it was like a thrillery kind of horror movie vibe so i love anything like gory so i thought it would be great i thought it would be a little bit of a fantasy and victoria schwab gave a review so I had to. I love Victoria Schwab. I love her writing. So if she enjoyed it, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it too. So that is my last one to be read. So those are three paper bags that I haven't started yet. I have a paper bag that I have another probably 50 pages to finish. And I have a Kindle one, hopefully two Kindle books. So that is my TBR for January. If you guys have any books that you're currently reading, drop them down below and let me know what you think. If you guys have any like any um, comments about any of the books that I've read, let me know down below. And if you want to see any of the reviews, please give this video a thumbs up so I will then know that you guys would like to actually know what I think about the books. They seem to be doing quite well on my channel as well, which I think I love watching book reviews, especially when I'm about to go and get some. Um, because I want to know if it's something I might enjoy, if there is like, I'm not like a, you know, I don't have like a degree in, in English or anything like that. I don't pick too much on the writing. I don't, it does bother me when there's no, not much diversity, but other than that, as long as I enjoy the vibe of the book and, you know, I enjoy the whole thing, why not read it? So that is kind of my, my opinion. Other than that, I don't know. I don't think I have anything else to say, so until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.